hello guys you're welcome back to my channel hope you guys are feeling good my name is Bukumi BK Crown so guys we're gonna be checking out this video titled prophet of Hala so let's watch guys indeed there is no nation that has passed except that there has been a messenger who was sent to that nation it is he Allah the glorious and the powerful who sent into this world at different times and places messengers peace and blessings be upon them all who were gifted with divine scriptures the highest of morals by which to guide and educate the human beings to a life which is legislated for them and fulfills their very purpose there are those who allah azza wa jal had chosen what is the total number of anbiya rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said 120000 and messengers among them are 315 at one moment there could be tens of prophets one in the east one in the west one in the south one in the north and maybe they did not see each other but Allah sent so many prophets and messengers 25 of them are mentioned in the noble Quran hmm. so all those prophets came forward from Almighty God calling the people towards God calling the people towards good actions coming to the people in their time in their language ordering the people in the same way oh my people obey Almighty God and worship only Almighty God and do good actions. That's what Abraham said. That's what Noah said. That's what Moses said. That's what David said. That's what Solomon said. That's what John the Baptist said. That's what Jesus Christ said. That's what Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, said. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wa la amma ba'd. So the prophethood began with the first man and the first prophet, Adam. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was Allah's final messenger and the seal of the prophets. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, We relate unto you the best of stories. These are the best of stories because they are dealing with the best of creation. Relate unto them the stories. It's a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given to Rasulullah that he must narrate these stories unto the Ummah. These stories are not to entertain us. These stories are for us to derive lessons and reflect, hmm. and to contemplate, and to think about, to deeply reflect on them. That is what we need to do. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa that he must follow the way of Ambiya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If this instruction was given to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa then what should we do? They are those whom Allah has guided. So follow their guidance. There is a difference between a Rasul and a Nabi. So what is the difference? One is a messenger and one is a prophet. The one who has a higher status is a Rasul, a messenger. A Rasul is a person who came with a new Sharia, with some law. But the Nabi, who is not a Rasul, is following the law of another Rasul. So every Rasul is a Nabi, but not every Nabi is a Rasul. Every Prophet is not a messenger, but every messenger is a Prophet. If a Prophet is given a new law, then he becomes a Rasul and a Nabi. If he is not given a new law, then he is a Nabi, only a Prophet. An example of that, to make it little bit clear. Now Musa والسلام, was a Rasul, he was a messenger given a new legislation, Torah. Whilst Harun والسلام, was a Nabi because he wasn't given a new legislation. Instead, he was following up on the legislation of Musa والسلام. Nabi, the plural of it is Anbiya. Rasul, the plural of it is Rusul. There is a third type of person who is neither a Nabi nor a Rasul, but he is a Rasul of a Rasul. Which means he is a messenger of a messenger. And who is that? Every single one of us. Subhanallah. We are all messengers of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have the message. It becomes mandatory on us to convey the message of the Anbiya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and their stories. There are certain qualities that all the prophets had. We need to know these qualities. Number one is wahi. Divine revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This was something especially for the Prophet Messengers were always truthful. They never uttered a lie, even prior to prophethood. They were trustworthy and they were known as trustworthy, all of them. 
Another quality of the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Physically, they did not have any defect. When you looked at them, you felt like getting closer. Allahu Akbar. All the messengers were described as very handsome. Then there is another quality of the messengers. They were very intelligent. They wanted to give the message. They wanted to always spread the goodness. They were not selfish with it. None of them wanted money in return for their message. None of them wanted to gain some form of popularity through their message. Allah Azza wa does not send a female prophet. Allah does not send a prophet that's a slave. The eyes of the Anbiya alayhi salatu wasalam sleep, but their hearts do not sleep. The next special characteristic is that they are given a choice at the time of death. They are buried where they pass away. The bodies of the Anbiya alayhi salatu wasalam do not decay. If it was possible for us to open a grave of a Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, we would find their bodies intact because the earth does not consume bodies of the Anbiya alayhi salatu wasalam. If you do not know someone, you cannot love him. We all claim that we love the Anbiya of Allah. But if we don't know the details of their life, we don't know what they went through, how could we have respect for them? Whenever we say the name of a messenger, it is our duty to say, may peace be upon them. They have done a splendid job. In fact, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam says that there is a curse upon the one who says Muhammad without saying sallallahu alayhi wasallam. We don't differentiate between any one of his messengers. Likewise, to reject any one of the messengers, even if you believe in them all, except for one, that means that you've disbelieved in them all. All the messengers were trained in a specific way. Do you know what the Prophet ﷺ says? There was no Nabi except that he was a shepherd at one stage. Allah trained them with sheep, with animals before they came to human beings. What is more difficult? To look after animals or to look after human beings? It is definitely more difficult to look after animals. We must have some role models. We must have some people whom we look up to. If you are not going to provide our children and our youth with the role models of the Anbiya and the role models of Rasulullah and the role models of the Sahaba, they will go and find role models somewhere else because human beings cannot live without role models. So we need to study the lives of the Anbiya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that they can become our role models. Indeed in the stories of the previous nations and in the stories of the prophets are lessons for those with sound intellect. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad subhanallah wa bihamdih subhanaka allahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayh. Wow, I've learnt a lot from this, this video. Like I said, not all prophets are messengers, but all messengers are prophets. You can be a prophet and you're not a messenger of God. Not all prophets are from God, but anybody that is a messenger of God is a prophet. It's about how, you know, this messenger of God carried out the works of God. And most of these messengers of God, they are intelligent and they are not selfish. They don't think about themselves. They, they carry out the message with all diligence and they carry it and pass the message of God to God's people without thinking of their own self-interest. And he spoke about God, you know, turning some of them into animals. And, you know, it's very difficult to actually, you know, take care of animal than human beings and one thing i also got from it is is that anytime you're referring to these messengers of allah you have to say may peace be upon them because of the sacrifices they made just to pass out the works of god the sacrifice they made like uh, it's really nice to watch all these things because he also spoke about moses solomon you know jesus christ those are the prophet of god prophet muhammad the importance of a messenger and the difference between a prophet and a messenger you can be a prophet and you're not you're not a true messenger of god but you can be a messenger and you're a true prophet of god thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment and i'll see you in the next one stay blessed bye